Hey lovelies and welcome to the next installment of my DIY bride series and so this is only the second one so I just started calling them that so you guys haven't missed too many of them um, in case you're like DIY bride series what is she talking about I haven't seen that um, I've only done one other video like this and that one was about my um, DIY wedding planner when I first started putting up wedding planning videos a lot of people um, responded well to the comments section where I was asking you know what kind of videos you guys want to see and a lot of people were saying they would want to see a DIY video but this one specifically, as you guys probably saw from the title, this one's gonna be about uh, DIY save the date photos. For your save the date um, cards, if you're going to send out save the date cards, which you do probably, you know, four to six months in advance, you don't have to use photos for your save the date cards. But if you do, and if you do want an engagement photo session, um, this is a way that you can do it yourself. You can do your own engagement session to have photos of you and your fiance to use at your own leisure or you can use them for your save the date cards. That's a way to save money and do it yourself, essentially. So I'll tell you guys what you need and how to do it. If you guys don't know, for save the date cards, you can run into the few hundreds um, in pricing for that, as well as for engagement sessions. They usually are average around two to $500 for an engagement session. This is a way that you can definitely cut down those costs. So first, you're gonna need a camera, and that's gonna be the largest cost for this entire thing, because you're gonna need a camera to take photos. If you don't have a camera, and you buy a camera, you'll still end up saving money in the long run but this will be a lot cheaper for you if you already have a camera so I use a Canon Rebel T3i which is one of the later models of the Canon you don't have to use such a nice camera because my camera has like a detachable lens and things and you know just the body itself was $500 but you can get a cheaper camera I say as long as the camera has self timer and a tripod you're good to go so you want a camera with self timer and you'll want a tripod because you're going to set your camera up my camera right now is hoisted up on a tripod I got this tripod from Amazon for about $35. So honestly, you know, you can spend $200 on a tripod, you easily could, but you know, there are options on there that get the job done just as well with different heights and all that for $30, $40. The next thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to pick a location. So a lot of people begin to freak out when it comes to taking their own photos because they don't actually know like what I want it to look like. So for me, in wedding planning, like I didn't start wedding planning until December, but before that I had a very, very good idea of what I wanted for my wedding, for my photos, etc. Because I was pinning a lot and I was looking things up, I was looking into it. So you can't really just plop down and start taking photos without having any idea at all we want it to look like. So I suggest you start pinning. I have, I'm not kidding, over 50 Pinterest boards and probably 30 of them are for the wedding because um, every single little thing I want to remember, uh, this is what I want this to look like, this is what I want that to look like. So you don't have to be as crazy as I am when it comes to Pinterest, but I suggest getting a Pinterest board for your engagement session um, so you can see what's out there, see what kind of locations people use. They have everything on Pinterest. Honestly, they have articles about how to pick locations. They have articles about how to pick outfits, how to coordinate poses. For us, we chose locations that were really sentimental for us. We took photos on the beach and we also went into the cliffs into one of these other into this other spot that we absolutely love. We go there all the time to just talk, hang out, relax, get away, um, just listen to the waves lapping and just relax and hang out with one another. So we love that spot and we decided to incorporate that spot into our photos too. So you're gonna want a location and if it's not a location you're extremely comfortable with, you have to go scope it out. Figure out like, how does it work? Are people here a lot? When are people here? Um, you know, where where does light come from? When am I gonna have sunlight? When do I need to be here? Um, so that's something to know. And this does not take very long. Honestly, you could do all this preparation in one day. This is in the preparation, so you'll want to do this before the day of the actual shoot. What's nice about it though is you're going to be orchestrating the shoot the way you want it to be um, with you in control. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of nerves. What's nice is it'll just be you and your fiance. So you'll want to have the camera and tripod as your tools. You're going to want to find a location, scope it out, figure out how it works. When it comes to taking the photos, overall it took us about an hour, hour and a half. One, because we weren't rushing. Two, it was Christmas and it was 70 degrees for New England. That is nuts. So we were just enjoying the weather kind of. The process with the photo taking, you're going to set your camera up on a tripod and you're going to want to use self timer. Honestly, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be practicing poses with your fiance. Feel out the pose. You know what the pose is going to be. Then you're going to leave him, go to the camera, go back to the camera, wherever it is, 
focus on him make sure that he's focused you know so if you have autofocus you'll just like halfway click down the buttons so that you know it's focused on him which is where you're going to be in just a second and then you're going to press go self timer 8 to 10 seconds depending on what camera you have and you're gonna run back to your fiance and get right into that pose that you just practiced so that's literally what my fiance and I did for every single pose of our engagement photos that you guys probably saw in the in the video that I posted um yeah we did that I ran back to him um, I have some action shots that are really hilarious of me like running back to the camera still that are taking photos um, my photo my camera is a little advanced so it does take continuous photos if it wants to um, if you put that option on it can take like 10 photos um, not all cameras do that but the nice about it is you can see the photo right away and you can kind of scrutinize it if you want to and just retake it whereas you don't have that much control with a photographer especially if you're doing these for save the date card you might not need to take that many photos you could take just 10 photos like 10 different poses so from there you have your photos you have a memory card um, which I did forget to mention but you do want a memory card when you're purchasing your camera they'll probably let you know like you need a memory card so you'll have your photos on your memory card and you'll want to pop it into your computer and edit your photos using any photo app software um, iPhotos or any, any photo editing software you're gonna edit them however you want them to look. So once they're all edited, you're good to go. And you're gonna to wanna to find a website that's gonna edit and design your cards for the save the date cards. So we actually went with Vistaprint, vistaprint.com. Um, I'll leave the link in the information box, but they have a couple different um, ones that are out there. You can just look into whichever one you want. Down to the T. We pretty much designed our Save the Day cards completely um, ourselves online. And it was a fun experience and they came exactly exactly how we designed them. Overall, our save the date cards cost us $40, just $40, and we designed them the way we wanted them to. We know that if we had went through someone else, it would have been hundreds. So let me just show you the save the date cards that we have. I am gonna blur out some of the information just because uh, it's like personal information, but um, this is the front of the card and we put that photo there. There we edited it, you can put those bars in there, really nice. This is one of our photos, we designed this, we really like this look. And then for the back, this is how it looks. We put several photos, I found this, uh, a similar idea to this on Pinterest. It's so adorable, we love the fact that we could put whatever photos we wanted. As you guys see here, like some of these photos were taken at the cliffs that we really like. Uh, but the rest were taken at the beach. So that's pretty much how our Save the Day cards came out and we absolutely loved them. Everyone was raving about them and we did them completely ourselves from the photos, to the text, the design, everything. And in case people didn't know you could do this and just show you guys, you know, how we did it and what we did for ours and that it could work out for some other daylight brides out there or if you're just looking for ideas for the future and you're not even engaged yet but you just want to start getting a head start, um, which I think is absolutely fine because the only reason why I know so specifically what I want for my wedding is because I've been pinning wedding stuff for years now. A lot of the stuff that I really, really, really like, my fiance really likes, and that's also because we've been discussing it together for a really long time. So um, if you're in Head Start on stuff, like kudos to you, that's totally fine. In fact, it's proactive of you, so good for you. <laughs> um, but I hope this was helpful to someone, and I'll see you guys in my next DIY Bride installment of the series. Um, there should be quite a few more coming your way as we get closer to the wedding, and it's getting super close oh my god my nerves are like buzzing because it's so close so hopefully you guys will uh enjoy the series uh thanks for tuning in guys and i will see you guys in the next one bye so it's christmas and it is like 65 degrees outside so we decided to do our hey, look at his license plate say at the date photo say hi babe youtube hey take a, take a picture of the license plate hey look it says youtube <laughs>